What up, what up, YouTube? This is your boy Kim Lander here. We're back at it again with another video. And today, we're jumping in the sky and playing as. Uh, we're playing as Sharon. And uh, let's jump in. But yeah, we have unlocked Sharon and we have leveled, her, leveled up the, her character. It's. Like, the living experience took me a while. Like, not really a long while. It took me like a couple of hours to do it. But yeah, there's certain things about her ultimate that kind of annoys me though. But overall, she, her abilities are decent. Um, ability. Alright, so going back to finishing up our... Hold up. We're going back to finish up our basically main mission. What we're doing in, in the last video. There you guys will see on the channel. So yeah. <laughs> I don't have much to say to be honest guys. It's just been an interesting experience with this game. But I, I am enjoying this game and so forth, so yeah. It's quiet, like no it sounds like uh, someone was here. I was listening to like no one is here, but somebody was here. I don't know which videos I'm gonna do as uh, Sharon. I, I don't know. I kind of like VS is my baby girl, and I kind of miss her. The operation is simple: shake up the enemy lines there, and find the parts needed to repair the turrets here. All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. Oh shit! I don't know. <laughs> It feels a lot worse, guys. It does feel a lot worse. Let's go. Let's go, though. Let's go. We are cooking out here. Here come the enemy defense forces. I'll begin working once the commotion starts. What you think was going to happen? Hey, 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 watch the shot, watch the shot, watch that shot. Guys, die. Their attention. I Needs to be louder. The blow up All right. Their communications facility will be good.
go. They got that. They got that. They, they were cleaning that one. They're using two channels to communicate. There's likely another comms facility nearby. Let me cook some smoke. Die. here now <laughs> someone just passed me what I didn't know guys I did not know someone just passed me Right here. I'm missing shots too. to the next point. Meta stutter, but uh is what it is guys. At this point. <laughs> yeah. I'm just let's go. I feel like that was more of like not necessarily heat, but just because a lot of stuff was going on on the screen at once at a point. But we'll keep an eye on it. Since we can't just wait for HQ to send support, we'll have to find another way. Let's get the necessary parts first. There are a few that can be replaced with physical parts from Vulgus. Go and gather the parts from their mechanical bodies.
let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's try to do this as quick as possible. that are He got to take some of the heat while we do this. I don't know, guys. This video feels like gonna be a very stutter video, but we will try to keep it out to a minimum or fix it. I don't know. Not quite sure what's causing it though. All right, it should be enough. Thanks for your work. All right, so that's good. Oh, cram time. Ah, that's. Spotted. Keep everything classy. Given the situation, it'll be better to eliminate them from the inside. I'll provide support from the outside. All right. to go outside here.
than I... I almost went out a while ago, to be honest. Where is I? Alert and descendant. The enemy's elite vanguard forces have been spotted. They are now the highest priority target. The operation will be confirmed a success. And as expected, the descendant is also safe. That should be enough parts to repair it. All we need to do is get it to boot and save mode. The data the drone recorded is the most important thing. Bring the parts to the outpost. Alright, we're almost there. All operation units, check comms. Huh. According to the data captured by the drone, Eamon's most recent destination was a naturally formed cave. It doesn't seem to have any tactical value. That being said, there's a high number of Volga's troops going in and out of the cave. Construction materials and heavy equipment. There's a lot of high-tech equipment being brought in too. They wouldn't be there without a reason. We need to initiate a search operation now. Could you handle the cave? I'll seal off the entrance to stop the enemy getting reinforcements or retreating. Zachary will cover us from enemy snipers with his scout rifle. We don't have much time. Let's move. Descendants, there's a few important things to keep in mind for this operation. And I have a personal favor to ask of you as well. Okay. Recon squad reporting. When you get near to the cave, be on guard for the commander-level Volgus who is stationed there. He's a cyborg Volgus called Keldir. He's part of a specialized sniper unit that uses anti-matter ammunition. I managed to damage his visual sensors last time I engaged him. But he can still use his auxiliary sensors and sound functions to launch deadly attacks. Fighting him could be a challenge, even for a descendant. And as for my personal request, well, if you do run into Keldir, I'd like to be the one to finish him. I lost a lot of good men to that piece of crap, Volgus. If I'm not the one to take him out, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. Zachary, emotional soldiers are no use in a war. Are you telling me not to avenge my men? No. If you're gonna do it, just make sure you're smart about it. We'll give you all the support you need, so don't be a hero about it. Whether it's the head or the heart of that focus. We'll get you what you need. Alright. We're going deep into this mess of an abyss. We're gonna get this job done. And done right. Man, that's some f okay. I was I was gonna check if we can teleport though. I was looking at the map and I'm like, nah, bro, no teleportation. Uh, uh. I don't know, like I would I would have put some at least a teleportation next to this. Man, I think there's like for this area in particular, there's two more sections to unlock after this point. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty darn interesting, <laughs> to say the least.
Alright, let's go. It is as Lord May would say. The descendants have arrived. Initiating extermination protocol. Destroy all traces of excavation. Activate all defense measures. To the entity who slays the descendant, Lord Aemon will bestow a new body prosthetic and independent persona. something. The Volga signal from inside the cave was also very strong. Gaiden, can you identify anything of significance? I am unable to detect any traces of the Iron Heart or void energy from here. However, I am picking up a very familiar phase pulse. Uh, definitely. Descendant, please look on the opposite side of the cave. Jacob confirmed there's heavy equipment and high-tech facilities there. Yeah. Okay. Initiate section containment. Activate high-energy laser defense. The descendant has entered the kill zone. Block all access roads. Initiate attack in a siege formation. Claim the kill. Execute the descendant. Be rewarded for body from this Partition control function into rows. If you destroy all the controllers, partition can be manually controlled from this side. Destroy all of them. are on a separate circuit. We can't control it from here, so we need your skills. Alright, I'm on my way. Yep, I'm on my way. Damn. Steamrolling everybody. There's an operational Volga's terminal ahead. Connect your receive to the terminal. I'll try to control the decommissioned passageway remotely. All right, let's go. Is full. Descendant. Over there. The Vulgus were excavating a phase shift gate here. So it really wasn't just a cave. 
But how the hell did Eamon figure this out? Eamon has been well versed in the details and capabilities of such facilities for a long time. However, there is no time to stand and watch. We must find okay. out what information Eamon was able to obtain here. Be careful of the Volk's reinforcements as well. You've started to come through the cave entrance. I did dismount a few stuff. Nowhere near the sky. What? I'm not going nowhere near this guy. This guy wasn't a boss? There was more than one fish in here. Oh, okay. The bogs have already excavated and taken several. The damage to the last remaining one here was so severe, it seems they abandoned their excavation of it. I detect phase wavelengths erupting from the damaged parts. The first surge was much stronger than the one we had just now. That's why there was a jamming signal generated across Hagios. We could use this when attacking. It might come in handy when we face Corel's fleet. Five seconds, uh, come on. Damn. More faster. <laughs> Yeah, that fast second roll did not. You report on the operation, check on the status of the Ironheart detachment. We're still working on the jamming signal, so our comms will be able to reach all the way out there. Yeah, the fast second in the pan out at all. What is it now? Descendant, what's the status of the Hagios operation? We haven't received any comms. We were getting worried. What did you say? The recon squad's communication was sent 48 hours ago? That doesn't make any sense. How have the Volgus developed advanced tech warfare capabilities? Run the details by me again, please? All right. So Eamon was excavating a phase shift gate in the hidden ruins and he discovered that the damaged device emitted quantum waves which acted as jamming signals. Hmm, I see. I understand that he would have taken advantage of such an opportunity. It seems luck is not on our side. If we'd received this report sooner, we could have acted on the information. But at least we have some useful intel, even if it didn't reach us at the right time. If we can find the excavated phase shift gate, we'll still be able to achieve our goal. I'm more concerned with the operation at the White Knight Gulch. It's taking longer to detach the Ironheart than we expected. At this rate, it may not be completed by the time Corel's fleet arrives. We've already had reports of Volgus forces appearing near to the Gulch. We're running out of time. I wish there was some way that we could turn things around. 
We'll just have to do the best we can on both fronts for now. Please continue with the operation. Wait, are, are, are comms back up? Is this Jaber's received signal? Blair, why are you in the Hagios? I, it is you, turret boy. It's nice to hear your voice. Have you eaten? Uh, what, what would happen to me? <laughs> well, it's a long story. There was the, the Volgus forward base and, and these weird cargo trucks. I ran into all sorts of things. While all that was happening, comms were down and the guide was nowhere to be seen. There were a lot of enemies and, and that weird beam of light phenomenon. Everything was nuts. Uh, the gist. Give me the gist. Volgus base, cargo trucks. Actually, just send your current location. I should hear this in person. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'll send you the coordinates. You send me updates on what's been going on at your end. All right, you better for the active. Uh, okay, I'm going here. sent me the sit rep. Things have really hit the fan. Oh, you, you asked why I was here. I, I heard the scouts were having a difficult time of it, so I snuck in to make them a warm meal. A kind of surprise event. <laughs> but the real surprise was prepared by Corell. <laughs> God damn it! He seems, he seems like someone with no table manners. <laughs> uh, so, no change there. Anyway, the... Uh, <clears throat> The Volgus passed through this way not long ago with a convoy of cargo trucks loaded up with a ton of stuff. When I tracked the convoy with the scouts, we found some kind of Volgus forward base. It, it, it looked like it had been built in a hurry, but the security was no joke. What's worse, there was a commander level Volgus with heavy armor and, and high powered weapons. He chased us, the bastard, and when we called for backup, there was no response. We ended up fighting for several days while being totally surrounded when suddenly a beam of light appeared from somewhere near the ruins. Maybe that fat ass commander was also distracted by the beam of light because he stopped attacking and we were able to retreat, just. By the time we managed to regroup, the only ones of us left were Dominic here and me. Had I known what would happen, I, I would have brought my friends more than just a meal. It was, it was her last supper in the end. Which is why, if you're going to that Volgus forward base now, you need to let Dominic and me tag along. They flipped the table in front of the chef, and it's time to teach them some real table manners. Also, if you want to prevent them from getting the Ironheart, you're gonna need more people. Dominic will show you the way to the forward base. Let's head there and turn up the heat. Uh, why do more and more people keep getting involved? Recon squad, reporting. Nice to meet you. My name's Dominic. I'm a scout accompanying Blair. In order to get to the Volga's forward base, you have to secure this area first as it's our main route. There's also a number of important additional tasks to do. Blair's already familiar with this terrain. I'll fill him in on the mission separately. You'll need to follow the instructions given by the recon squad. Or what's left of it, anyway, as Zachary and I are the only ones who survived. Anyway, good luck. Oh, by the way, I heard from Zachary. His troops were hit pretty hard, but I heard you took the enemy to task and helped Zachary get his own back. Thanks for that. And Blair, your meal was also very tasty. I feel like I always owe you descendants something. When this battle is over, I'll buy you a drink in Albion on behalf of my entire team, I promise. Dominic, that's what you call a death flag right there. Soldiers are superstitious, you know that. Okay then, I'll bake you a pie or something after the war is over. 
Not even you can top my mother's recipe. <laughs> Keep it up, you joker. Them's fighting words right there. Just ignore the hairball, Dominic. Went away. Alright guys, so I think this is going to end up this video. Alright.
I'm gonna get, come back in the next one. I'm gonna continue the game and everything from where I left off. Uh, let's jump back right here. Yeah, so guys, this is going to end of the video. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for enjoying the content. Please leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And see you guys next time. Peace. Get out.